Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing an eye, tutor eye tutorial for you. I'm going to be using a lot of Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eye shadows because I'm going to go for a more fall look and that's a lot of the shadows that I have are in that kind of warmer tone range. So that's what I'm going to start out as. I don't really know what I'm doing so we're just going to kind of figure it out as I go along. But I hope you enjoy this video so let's get started. Hey guys, so first I'm starting off with my Too Faced um, Shadow Insurance and I'm going to prime my eyes with that. Then I'm going in with my ABH Orange Soda, Orange Soda, Soda Eyeshadow and I'm going to be applying this um, as a base um, transition shade in my eye crease area and I'm just using a crease brush to do so. The next, I'm using another ABH shade, and this is Sienna. And I'm going to be applying this in my crease area and on the outer corners of my eyes. And I'm actually using the same exact brush that I just used, and this is a crease brush. And you could apply this as heavily um, as you like. Just make sure that they are blended pretty well, which is what I'm doing here. So I'm just applying a little bit at a time and just building it up. just doing windshield wiper motions. Then I'm going in with my Morphe palette and I'm going to be using that black shade there and I'm going to be darkening that crease area up and I'm going to be using those two shades there that I'm showing. They don't have names. Um, just to darker that crease and outer corner of my eye up. And here I started out with that crease brush as you can see here um, but it wasn't really getting the effect that I want. So you'll see here in a minute where I go in with a pencil brush and just darken it even more. But I started out with this crease brush just because it's a little bit more fluffy and I wasn't sure um, how pigmented the shade was going to turn out since it is black and I didn't want to go in um, too intense to begin with. So I just went very light, um, just one dab of my brush into the shade and just very lightly started out um, deepening and darkening that crease area up. <coughs> Excuse me. Then I'm going in with a blending brush here, as you can see, and blending those shades. I want to make sure there's no harsh lines. And then here's when I realized it just wasn't dark enough and I took that pencil brush and went in and darkened that up even more. <clears throat> and even though I am using a pencil brush, I'm still doing those windshield wiper motions like I was with the crease brush. And you just want to apply a little bit of product at a time because you can, it's easier to build it up than it is to remove it and start all over again. And here I'm going back in with that blending brush and just making sure that it's all blended out evenly as well again since I added more of that dark um, shade. Then I'm going in with this light shade here and just applying that today as my lip color. It is a matte shade and it's out of that same Morphe palette. Thank you. 
Then I'm going in with my Sonia Koshka um, Illuminating Foundation and I'm going to be applying this all over my face with a damp beauty blender. I just did a demo and review video on that if you would like to check that out as well. Then I'm going in with my concealer today and I'm using the NYX HD concealer and I'm going to be applying this under my eyes. <coughs> Excuse me, my allergies are acting up this evening. I'm going to go in and blend that out with a damp beauty blender. And I like using the damp beauty blender for under my eye area because it helps with creasing. It really helps pick up any extra product and it helps keep it out from um, any fine lines that you have from under your eyes. Then I'm going to go in and set that. I'm using my RCMA No Color Powder. And an e.l.f. tapered brush. And for bronzer today, I'm going to be using my um, Physician Formula Butter Bronzer. And I'm just going to be applying this to my forehead and my cheekbones and my chin, just as a bronzer. Then I'm going in with a Makeup Geek brush, blush, and it is in the shade Bliss. And I'm going to be applying this to my cheekbones. And I do apologize for the dog barking. Then I'm going in with my Becca um, highlighter, Champagne Pop, and I'm going to be applying this to my Cupid's bow, the tops of my cheekbones.
Then I'm going back in with those shades that I used on the top of my eyes and applying them to the bottom lash line. And I'm just going to be applying the darker shades on the outer edge. Then I'm going to be applying a black liner in my waterline. Then I'm also going to be taking a black eyeliner. This is a felt tip and it's by Made You Look and I'm going to be applying this to my top lash line. I am not doing a wing today because I ran out of time, but you definitely could if you wanted to with this look. Then I'm going in and applying mascara on my top lashes. And this is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. One of my favorite mascaras at the moment. And I did curl my lashes as well. Then on my bottom lash line, I'm going to be applying the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. This is my favorite mascara um, for the bottom lash line or any time that I want a mascara for my top um, lashes to just really give them length and not any volume. Then I'm going to go in with my Ofra Liquid Lipstick in... Pasadena. First, I'm going to be applying a lip liner to just outline my lips. You don't have to with this liquid lipstick, but I decided to today. And then here I'm going in and applying the liquid lipstick.
So I hope you guys enjoyed this fall look that I did for you and I hope to see you guys every Tuesday and Thursday. Please don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this tutorial and would like to see more and please don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye bye.